Okay, so let's switch to the True Studio. Okay, so let's switch to the practical part of our session. And we start from the project. So first we need to open our folder with the L053 project. And as Philip said a few minutes before, start double click on the file dot project and start our ID, I mean True Studio ID. And now it is good moment for, for my colleagues to check uh, if uh, some of you, uh, some, how to say, dirty view uh, of the ID uh, to avoid some problem because uh, we'll use uh, the ID to, to copy and paste some, some source code. So please, Philip Arthur, check the uh, <coughs> uh, True Studio of our attendees. So we need to view like this. So we need only one project active and we can unroll it and go to the SRC folder, subfolder, and double click on main.c file because it will be the only file to, to, to modify. So please follow the configuration of the ID as you can see on the screen. Now uh, we will make some simple modification of the source code. So please go to the line number 174 here. And we need to modify the payload to send by your transceivers. For example, I can modify my payload to like this. And of course, it is up to you to modify. So, if you did it, please uh, start the compilation, uh, the building process. So you can press the picture of the hammer or you can press Ctrl B. Project is building. And here you can see the output, uh, the footprint uh, size. So it is all, almost 30 kilobytes of uh, flash memory footprint. And now we can start the debug session. If the debug uh, key is, uh, if the debug picture is not active, you need to highlight the project name like this and then press the back picture. And now we need to wait until the f flashing process uh, uh, will be ready. this patient and if uh, if it is ready when it is ready the play button uh, stays active okay so the fletching process is finished so now we can start uh, we can start 
our debug session. I will close uh, debug session on my side because now uh, I need to start S2LP GUI as a trainer to show uh, your frames, the frames sent, sent by you on the dedicated application. So I will start S2LP GUI. Okay, and I need to configure radio on my side. And configure the transmission test. Okay, so now you can press your blue buttons. Okay, so as you can see, it seems to be functional. So it was first, <laughs> it was the first, first part, <laughs> first part of our, of our exercise. Very simple one. So now we can go to the. Sometimes, just for information, we can note that sometimes you have some uh, CRC failure on your receiver side. That some packet collision are occurring. These packets are sent in the, the, in the same. It can happen that you have CRC failure. This is the reason. And there are some mechanisms to avoid this by. Uh, Carrier sense and collision avoidance. Okay, so now let's switch to the uh, migration uh, between the, the, the key point of our of our uh, session. Uh, the migration between uh, L0 application and L4 application. So. Please open Cubemix. And now we have nucle nucleo boards, L476 nucleo boards. And we need to start new project, Cubemix. So please go to Please select new project from the uh, here or select new project from the file new project menu. Uh, I think yes, we can do it now. We can do it now. So please open. Unpack your, your your L4 boards and remove the nuclear shield from the L0 nuclear and put it to L4 board. Okay, so we need to select the target MCU uh, for our migration. It will be STM32L476RG. Of course, Cubemix application gives you a very powerful mechanism to, 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 to select the target MCU, but now this is a special case. This is not Cubemix related workshop. This is 
spiritual related workshop so 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 we just enter the the component name so we have only one selection here and please double click on that uh, selection okay and we can see our our target mcu l476 and now we can start the migration process from uh, our l0 application so please click the button with picture consisting of white arrow on green field and find our source project so please go to the to your hands-on folder in my case it, it is hands-on underscore and date for today please enter the project and the and select the dot ioc pro, project file of kubemix tool okay and now just click ok to start migration process hmm? Okay, I selected the wrong version of the Cubemix. So now I will do it with with proper one. and start the migration okay project is successfully imported as we can see and now we need to modify only one point because we have more powerful MCU and the maximum uh, clock frequency for L4 family is 80 MHz so please enter 80 MHz uh, uh, HCLK field press enter and press OK to find the alternative clock clock source for the clock tree okay and now we need to configure the uh, project name so please go to the project settings and enter project name s2 dash lp underscore project underscore stm 32L476 okay so we have a name now we need to select the, the target folder the same folder as uh, we have used for the L0 project and the last activity to perform is to select the target ID True Studio, of course. So project is configured, and now we 
can press OK and generate code. So you can select project generate code on, or you can press the picture. Okay, and we can open project. So now we can switch to the True Studio and we can see two projects L0 related and L4 related. So we can uh, close the, the, the folder of the L0 and open the, the folder tree of the L4, go to the us src and double click on main.c. So now we have two main.c files and this is expected configuration of the editor. So Philip, Shimon, please verify if all guys in the, in the room has the same configure have the same configure configuration. Okay. And now we can configure the it, configure the, the building process. It is hint for you. So please go please highlight the project name, uh, right click and then properties and please go to the build C, C++ build options and select behavior tab and check the enable parallel build. It lets your PC to utilize all the all the cores of your of your uh, processor and just speed up the building process. Apply. OK. OK, so now we can close, maybe not close, just hide our True Studio and open folder with the handsome. So please go to the... So now we can see two subfolders, L0 project folder and L4 project folder. So please open L0 and then open second instance of the Windows Explorer or whatever you are using for the L4 project. Okay, and now we can start the copy-paste activity. So please go to the L0, it is our source to drivers and copy the BSP folder to the same folder of L4 project. So drivers and here we can paste the BSP. So now we can see the structure is exactly the same. Please go up, one step up and enter include INC uh, subfolder and copy cube uh, underscore HAL dot H file and come back to the L4, go step up, enter include and paste the file. So we have now we have exactly the same uh, structure of the of the folder so we can close the instance of the windows explorer related to the l0 project so our source and now let's come back to the true studio we can see that that our project our l4 project is still highlighted so please press f f5 to ref refresh the the uh, project and now we can we can verify that opening the drivers subfolder we can see bsp subfolder 
so it is okay and, and opening include folder we can see cube underscore hal dot h file so please open that file and now we need to modify just one line but to be more to be more precise we need to modify just one character so please go to the line number 41 and change 0 to 4 because we have L4 microcontroller and then you can save your <coughs> editor by pressing save button or control S okay as you re as you remember just before a while we, we added we copied the BSP uh, folder in, uh, which consists uh, of the the um, S2LP library so we need to point to the to, to the our IDE the folders to that folders to that uh, to that uh, library so please highlight the project name again right click properties and go to the C, C++ general unroll it and go to the paths and symbols and now we can press add so uh, now we need to add all the paths uh, to the pointing the, 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 the pointing the uh, library location so we, we need to go to come back to the to the our Windows Explorer view okay so please go to the drivers to the BSP to the components S2LP library include and copy all the path okay and we can paste it here in our ID and it is good practice to configure relative path instead of uh, direct one so let's do it now so put the cursor next to the letter D of drivers and delete all the header okay so this is first path and we need to add to the, the second one so again add let's come back to our to our l4 project come back to the to the bsp and and again go to the x nucleo and includes and again copy back to the true studio paste and let's configure relative path so put again put the cursor next to the letter d and press ok then apply and ok so now we can verify our, our paths by opening the includes subfolder so we can see first path here and the second path here so it is okay and again Shimon and Philip please verify on customer side okay so we have copied our uh, library uh, uh, we have configured uh, the uh, paths so now the last step the source code so how do you think uh, what sh should we do now should we copy line by line or something like this mm, or is there any simply simply way 
to 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 copy it. Uh, I think that I will show you a simple way at once to just to save a time and show you the simplicity of the of the mi migration. So please go to the main.c of project uh, of of the L0 project because this is our source and copy all the application code. By the application code, I mean the the code related to the functionality of application, not the code not the code related to the configuration of the peripherals. So we need just to copy all the code except the uh, configuration of peripherals. So please go to the line number two six nine and mark all the source code up to the first line and copy it to the scratchpad. Now we can come back to the main.c and again go to the to the end of the application part of main.c. In our case it is line number one to three. We need to mark all the lines uh, up to line number one and paste previously copied application code and as you remember and as, as Philip has mentioned before few minutes uh, ago uh, there is a interrupt uh, service related to the push button event. So we need to copy the code related to the callback of, of that interrupt. So please go to the line number 400 450 It is a code section called user code begin for and copy all the callback of the XT of the GPIO XT. So starting from line 450 down to line 492. And come back to the main.c of L4 project. Go to the line number 4 6 3 and paste the source code okay so we have copied our functionality and the last action to perform is the again we need to change 0 to 4 because we are using l4 family And we can start building process by pressing hammer, button or control B. Okay, so the so the, comp the building process is finished. I can connect my board. It is L4, I hope. <laughs> and let's start the debug session. Again, press highlight the L4 project and press the back button. And wait until play button st stays active, stays green. Okay, so we can start the back session. And now we can start also the terminal. So please go to the view 
option, then select terminal. And configure. The communication parameters. So please select the related COM port. It could be high, na high number COM port, uh, then 115 kilobits per second, 8 bit character without parity, and one stop bit. So, OK. And we can press the blue button so we can see the packet uh, is transmitting. And now I will start GUI. Okay, and let's see if, yes, it works. So that's all regarding the migration.